Hi my friends. This video is called Returning to Wholeness and that's the process we're all in right now. And so as with many of my videos I just want to shine some light on it from some different angle angles and basically it's the same thing I keep saying. <clears throat> and that is that we are all in a, an enormous uh, process of change and we are moving, we are moving from one state of being to another and in many ways it is a returning to what we once were uh, and in many ways it's really very new. So uh, life can feel very challenging, very strange, very difficult and it can be hard to know uh, which way to go and to really sense is this the right thing I'm doing for myself. So I'm just going to <coughs> go through just taking it all from, from zero, point zero and just uh, look at the basic things that I think are really important right now. So we are in a healing process and we are also in a process of becoming whole again. Because once we were whole and then we came to earth and on this journey which has lasted for thousands of years and we went into this uh, very very dense place <coughs> where we got to experience separation and how everything really in life uh, was fragmented and it was so real that we believed it was true and now we're recovering from that <laughs> that very very difficult condition of feeling separate from everything really, that everything is, is separate. So we're returning to the reality that everything really is whole and that we ourselves are whole. So this is the change that we're in. And um, many of us uh, are experiencing physical uh, challenges, mental challenges, emotional challenges, really I don't think there's really anyone on earth who's not experiencing challenges right now. And so the, uh, these little videos I make are really all about how can we, how can we uh, embrace this, this process in the easiest way really and in the way that takes us the furthest uh, so we don't get stuck. But of course it's natural that we do sometimes get stuck and that's just part of life. <clears throat> so we can call this a healing process that we're in or a cleansing process that we're in. We're cleaning up all the old uh, releasing all the old that we no longer need and returning to our wholeness. So everything that represents separation and pain and suffering and disharmony we are we are releasing from our lives and we're returning to uh, just the, the purity and the wholeness of who we are not that we will become perfect <clears throat> because we are human still and life is never perfect on on this planet but we will feel that we become whole again and that's really really wonderful so really my message for you is very much just to remind you that although this can seem very difficult we're on our way to something very very beautiful and what we're on our way to is actually already here. It's just a matter of sensing it. So um, 
we really are living on in different realities and one of the realities is that we all this healing has actually taken place already uh, and that can seem strange because that's just a different different timelines but it's really good in the different in the uh, different challenges that we have in everyday life to just remind ourselves that everything is becoming more and more beautiful every day every moment everything is becoming more whole and this is all good <clears throat> I might uh, sink down into something very dark and bad for a day or two or an hour or two but deep down I know that it's okay because it's just, it's just a part of this process so I think that's really really uh, so important that we keep reminding ourselves that all is well and uh, this is all um, this is all about love this is all a process of becoming more and more the love that we are. So it's all about allowing more and more love into our lives and allowing ourselves to be the love that we are. So this whole process is a good process. It's not bad, although it can feel bad. <laughs> so... Um, this is very much really where I think uh, it's very, very important to start. If you're on, on the very first day of this process watching this video and you feel that you're starting from the very beginning, to just start on your mindset, to remind yourself and get the sense that this is all good um, and that it's just getting better and better. So our mindset is fundamental for, for really sensing how things are changing for the better. The way we think about ourselves and our lives and the world uh, is what's going to manifest. As Jesus said, as you think so it shall be. So if you find that place within you where you realize and you can feel that this is all good and it's all going in the right way in the right direction although it's very painful and difficult sometimes uh, then you will experience that it is all good so this is a, an enormous test for us to to experience how we are manifesting with our just with our thoughts so uh, that's one part of it and another major part of this mindset this piece of the puzzle is I think is so important which I've mentioned many times and I think we just need it repeated again and again is the love for ourselves and the respect for ourselves and our own needs and I think this is probably one of the one of the things that sets us back the most or makes this process very slow is that we have this fundamental belief that we don't really deserve what we really want we don't really deserve to have a fantastic life have a fantastic body have wonderful health and have a life full of love and joy we sort of I keep saying to ourselves that we don't really need that or we, we maybe we can't really have that um, and so this is also to remind you and this is something I've learnt I am learning uh, doing this brain retraining I'm doing and I can just share with you uh, I'll leave a link below that the, the system I'm using is called Reorigin it's just a very small company or a small uh, what do you call it community um, and I think they do a wonderful job of teaching you how to retrain your brain. And uh, what was very, uh, very striking really for me when I started doing the brain retraining was that my inner child, as I've shown you on the, 
uh, these two uh, these two sessions that I've I've shared with you here on on YouTube that we do an exercise where we actually oh, I think it was only in the one video we we imagine ourselves in a in a in our dream where are we are we in nature and what are we doing are we on our own and we allow ourselves to be in this absolutely dreamlike state where we would love to be and it is actually our inner self that that shows us what is actually really right for us and so it was very striking for me that deep down uh, I have this really wonderful wish for myself and I think we all do but there is a part of my mind that doesn't allow this, that doesn't believe that this can be true, that my life can be so incredibly wonderful. But the truth is that uh, we are actually here to experience an absolutely wonderful, uh, really, really dreamlike uh, state of being, where we really, really enjoy ourselves as humans. So, um, I think in our daily lives, with the people around us, <coughs> uh, or wh wherever we're living, we might be living on our own, doesn't really matter, to really check in every day if we are actually allowing ourselves to truly enjoy uh, this day. It might not be the whole day. But to really ask ourselves, what would I love to do? And um, to just allow this to be. To do it for ourselves. And then in our interactions with others, I think often we hold back and we feel that uh, we shouldn't be so demanding. Or we can't say to someone, oh, I can't see you for a while. Or um, I've got something else I, want, I need to do or I want to do so I can't see you or just stop ringing, stop calling someone because we might hurt them. Um, and that's why I think we need to be even more uh, honest towards ourselves and to really not fear to change. So, and, and I can see that in my own life that I could, I, uh, the more honest I am towards myself and others, the more beautiful my life becomes. People around me who, who like things to be as they always were, who don't like really like change, they can get a bit upset. But on a deep level, I'm actually really helping them to move forward. So I think this is this is a part of the lie that we've been living in. This this separation, this very dark place, uh, this state of consciousness that was in on a very low vibration, we had this core belief that we really did not deserve to be truly us and do life our own way. And so I just want to really encourage you to, to dare, to dare to be true to you, do what is right for you, and I can really assure you that you're actually doing what's right for the others. Uh, so life is changing. Everything is changing. And the more we dare to change, the more everything moves, moves faster. Not that we want things to move so fast, because this is all the process. But we really uh, do start to experience um, um, what do you call it um, change that uh, becomes a new way of life so making uh, deci deci new decisions based on what you really feel deep in your heart is right for you although others think it's very stupid or very strange uh, that way ahead is really a good way to go. So, uh, but it does take a lot of courage, I know, because we really, really don't want to upset people. Uh, 
But yeah, we upset their ego. We don't upset their spirit because their spirit actually wishes that they get to live a really honest and beautiful life for themselves. So when we dare to do it, we're actually setting an example for them that on a deep level we love them, but we just don't want to live our lives in a routine that we've been in for the last 50, 60 years. We wish to live a life that is fresh and that where we dare to change and do things differently based on our own wishes for ourselves. So, um, yeah, this is part of the mindset uh, that I think is really important. When we wake up in the morning, to really uh, ask ourselves, how can I make, how can I live this day to day in a really loving and friendly way towards myself? And if I dare to do that, it might only be in a little way, but just doing it a little bit more than yesterday, we will, it will have a ripple effect uh, on those around us, and a good ripple effect. So, uh, yeah, we're just taking, we're just summing this whole thing up. What can we do to help ourselves? And the next thing I want to talk about is our gut, which I've talked about many times before, which really is the basis of all uh, well-being, is having a healthy gut. And I'll leave a link below um, with a doctor you might know called Dr. Uh, William Davis, who's written a book called Super Gut and who was a cardiologist, who is a cardiologist, but used to work as a cardiologist. And he found out that what he was doing to people was really harming them. And so the first step on his journey was to, uh, to teach people to stop eating grains and sugar. And people with really bad um, heart disease, they actually heal themselves just by doing that. And he's been in a learning process uh, for many years and as he went on he learned about the microbiome and this is what he's teaching uh, all, his, all people he can talk to. He's teaching them how to heal their microbiome because that is the next, really the next step uh, or really the foundational step for, for getting to feel well. And so I'll just leave a link and you can go and see him. He's, I think he's really wonderful because he's very down to earth. Uh, he's very, uh, actually, he's just very relaxed, but also, um, yeah, also quite funny. He doesn't take things so seriously, but he really has, brings forth the message that our microbiome is really, really important. So I've talked about this many times before. And if you're just starting from the very beginning, a good way to help your microbiome is to really um, not eat all the time and to eat nutrient-dense foods. And um, for many people, you have to avoid many plants in the beginning. So just have meat and maybe egg yolks, butter. I use tallow and then start to have some fermented foods with your with your uh, food and I use kombucha which is of course with no fiber but it has this very very these very uh, healing microbes in it but you can use really all sorts of fermented foods and have it with your with your meals and you will sense how your microbiome starts to heal and uh, just everything starts to fall into place and as Dr. Uh, Dr. Davis says uh, he, he thinks really half, half of the population has SIBO which is bacteria which is growing in our small intestine and which is really not meant to be there so when we bring the fermented foods into our diet we start to heal this condition which is really very destructive for us and you can do other things that help the microbiome but um, these are just the basic things um, to do to help yourself so uh, yeah and um,
the last thing I want to just mention in this video is to help yourself detox because um, we're just living in a very very toxic world and um, especially when we start it's actually very detoxing to start to have fermented foods and to really clean up your diet and to maybe do intermittent fasting you are actually starting a, a very very powerful detoxing process and also with the whole mindset I was talking about in the beginning when you have a friendly mindset towards yourselves you start to detox so but we can help ourselves to get rid of the toxins easier and we can do this by dry skin brushing going for walks just gentle walks in nature breathing in through our nose just gently doing long deep breaths is very detoxifying also making sure you're drinking water you're getting sea salt uh, and you can do magnesium baths uh, Dr. Davis he talks about the fact that we're lacking magnesium so doing Epsom salt baths is very helpful also you can do saunas and as you, if you've seen my videos, you know that I love coffee enemas, so I love uh, using that too. If you've been, uh, which I have been, very toxic all my life, it's very, very helpful on a daily basis to use coffee enemas. So there's many different things you can do, but basically what we're doing is really, uh, we're setting all this, this, these toxins in us that really are, thought toxins but also physical toxins we're setting them in motion and by doing these different detox uh, regimes we are helping them um, leave leave our body so get rid of them so they don't keep circulating in our system so this was uh, yeah a little video about really all the basics of uh, what I think is really important and where you can start on this process of uh, becoming whole again. So, uh, yeah, maybe you could use something in this video and uh, uh, as always it's really a repetition of many things that I've, I've said but um, there might be something here that you can use today. So I send you all my love and wish you a wonderful day where you feel that you're becoming more and more whole all the time. Take care. See you.